Greetings my esteemed subscribers. Today I want to respond to the question does the army turn boys into men? Now if you want a longer take on it you can listen to my latest podcast episode one hour 17 minutes where I yeah I talk more about it basically but I thought to make this video because I want to connect it to a few different videos I've made as of late. Now I will talk about my own experience and I will freely admit that before going into the army in 2009 I was an immature boy. At the end of my mandatory 11 months I was still an immature boy but a bit less of an immature boy and the seeds of maturity had been sown within my soul. So basically I've talked about habits routines momentum habits of course is the is everything habits so in the army it's not necessarily that you gain a a sudden revelation that transforms you immediately it's rather that you get certain habits certain ways of viewing things that will serve you well later on so for example in my case i got a lot less egoistic before I went in and during the first part of the service I was quite egoistic then I understood that I am not the center of the universe and this is something it's a very good very nice insight to have it's something that will help you in your development quite a bit and the more humble you are and I know that some people they don't like when I talk about how humble I am but you know in this type of situation where I have a bit more down-to-earth talk um, in some videos against kitchen I'm a bit more playful then yeah I'm not humble in that sense but what I mean with humility is that you value what you can bring to others you appreciate that you are not the center of the universe you appreciate that it's good for you to bring value to others and this is something that has served me very well on this channel for example that you you know you try to bring value to others you don't always put yourself in the center of attention and in the army of course you're just another uniform you're just another rifle you're just one part of a platoon which is just a part of something bigger as well so it's quite nice it's a quite nice revelation to have and it's something that over time it will make you approach life and relations with others in a different manner very useful very useful for me then when it comes to habits again this is not something that you will gain automatically when you the first day um, of your army service it's something that you will build up over a long time and that you can bring with you later on as well so the greatest gift i got from the army i would say is Again, something I mentioned in a recent video, momentum, a certain momentum that you train every day, you have, you know, hard physical exercise every day. And if you've done that for 11 months and you don't train anything after, you will feel a bit hollow. So you need to continue on that momentum with something else, which in my case was gym training. And, and of course, you can imagine how thankful I am for, you know, starting in the gym. So basically I got out from the army in December, started my great iron journey in January. So a bit of downtime over Christmas, then at it again, using that momentum, using that, using those habits that I had acquired in the army to just continue along my path. So basically it is a good time investment for you if you bring with you the teachings. Being in the army, it's a complete waste of time if you're not going to apply the habits later on if you say to yourself that I never want to hear about discipline I'm never going to make my bed again I will never do anything any tough physical exercise again yeah then like with any education it's been a waste of time so it's all about you know developing certain habits a certain mindset in your soul that you can continue to develop later on so I wouldn't necessarily say that the army turns boys into men but it plants the seeds of maturity in a boy so he can 
continue to grow later on. So if you want to plant the seed of a mighty oak or something like that, yeah, it starts as a seed at some point and then it grows up. So same thing here that you can view it in the sense that if you make the most out of it, the army can be seen as a place where, you know, the seeds of maturity are, um, are grown. Now, of course, if you don't have the possibility of military service, then try to find these habits in some other way, in the gym, for example. So again, the greatest gift I got from the army was the momentum and the habit that then led me to start training in the Temple of Iron. So if you don't have the opportunity to join the army for whatever reason, you know, as I said in the podcast, I speak highly of the Swedish army. I can't say the same thing for... Uh, the army you have the opportunity to join But anyway, if you don't have the opportunity to join any army start in the gym at least and try to You know have that as the, the start of your ascent. So for me, I could say that my Journey both physical and uh, Metaphysical it began in the army because of the seeds of discipline and habits momentum and everything like that that I then translated successfully into gym training. So if you can't do military service, try to find those seeds somewhere else, in the gym for example. So anyway, long story short, does the army turn boys into men? Short answer, perhaps not from one year to the next, but it can sow the seeds of maturity that will enable a boy to mature later on. So it's definitely a good investment if you have the the time and opportunity to do so. I am certainly very thankful I got the opportunity to do so. It was technically speaking mandatory but it was more the case that I got to do it than had to do it. So anyway if you want a longer take do listen to the podcast episode. Now thank you for watching XXO. Boom!